the confrontation has been going on more than 1600 hours. The city of Enerhadar, Zaporizhia Oblast. Shelling and grenades are flying at civilians. Brave locals came to defend the largest nuclear power plant in Europe. Every hour of Russia's war against Ukraine brings losses of lives of our children, women and defenders. According to the State Emergency Service of Ukraine, more than 2,000 civilian Ukrainians have died since the beginning of the invasion, including 21 children. Familiar objects at the first glance, but in fact they are explosives. In Kyiv subway, now uses as the shelter for a civilian, police have uncovered five saboteurs. One of the men was hiding ammunition in a children's toy. The detainees also had ammunition, knives and drugs. The city of Kherson is in the epicenter of warfare. Residential buildings, shopping malls, schools and kindergartens have been destroyed. The city is on the verge of humanitarian catastrophe. Nevertheless, it is a city of a strong-willed people. This is how a local resident meets occupiers with the Ukrainian flag. The Ministry of Defense of Ukraine has decided to return Russian prisoners of war to their mothers if the women personally come to Kyiv, Ukraine, to take their children back home, seeing everything with their own eyes, they will no longer claim that Russia is conducting a military operation. They will learn the truth.